it's Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today I'm going to show you what happens when you update to the latest version of Divi with WordPress 5.0. Now this is a test site and I won't be updating any of my live sites probably till the new year now as it's quite a major update to 5.0 and there's a good chance there's going to be bugs. So I will wait until they've been found and fixed. There's no great urgency to update, but if you want to update or if you just want to see what happens when you do update, then I'm going to show you in this test site. So when you're updating, you want to update your plugins first, then update Divi, and finally update WordPress, which will bring you to this welcome screen and it introduces the new editor which is the main change that everyone's going to notice so this site is running uh, I think 3.8.2 3.18.3 and WordPress 5 so if you now go and create a page, you're going to see the new Gutenberg editor. And it's different from the back end uh, that you might be used to. So if you want to use the Divi Builder and you click on here, you might expect it just to load here in the back end but by default once you've updated to WordPress 5 and you click on user Divi Builder it's going to take you to the front end visual builder so there is no option to use the Divi Builder in the back end by default so you can use the front end visual builder or you can use the new Gutenberg builder which is this and you can drag these blocks and but that's uh, <coughs> something to go in and have a look at later so if you don't like this or you want to use the old backend builder. There are new options within Divi. So if you go to Divi theme options, and go to Divi theme options, builder, advanced, you'll see there are two new options here. So enable the classic editor and enable the, enable the latest Divi Builder experience. Enable classic editor. You've, if you've been reading online, you've probably read about the classic editor plugin. Now, if you're with, on the latest version of Divi and you see this option, you do not need to use that plugin because this option does exactly the same. So once you've enabled this and saved the changes you can now go to add a page or post and it will be exactly the same as before. You can see this is the classic WordPress editor and it's got the same layout as it had before and now if you click on Divi Builder you get the old Divi Builder in the back end. Now the Visual Builder and this old back end builder are different. The, the different um, technology and basically this back end builder is getting phased out. For now you can still access it by using that classic uh, editor switch in the theme options but at some point this is going to be phased out for the visual builder in the back end which adds a whole 
range of uh, extra features that you you now get in the front end builder so such as uh, like extending styles the hover effects um, copy pasting styles that you can't do on the old version so this is here because a lot of people have asked elegant themes to keep it they prefer using it um, personally I prefer the visual builder for, just because it has much better fe features and you can still use this wireframe mode within it if that's what you want so below here it's telling you there is a new and improved Divi Builder experience and to click this link if you switch to, to make the switch. So basically what this will do is loads the same visual builder that you're used to on the front end into the back end here. So you can either switch it on here or in the theme options enable the latest Divi Builder experience this is doing the same so if you select to do it here it will automatically update that switch so just go here and refresh this page you'll see builder advanced it's been enabled and now in the back end if you click on use the Divi Builder, it's going to load the new Visual Builder in the back end. And you can switch back here if for some reason you don't like it. So it's exactly the same as you used to on the front end. This, this is now just the Visual Builder in the back end. So you can build exactly the same as before but now you have the extra options such as hover effects here you can reset copy module styles extend button styles and basically do a, a lot so you can it, by default it will come in the wireframe mode so it's very similar to you used to as the old backend builder but then you can view desktop so you're still in the back end and well, there's nothing here now but this would be the live preview desktop tablet mobile and back to wireframe so you don't have to update and you don't have to use just the front end visual builder if you don't want to for now this is um so this the new visual back end builder is an opt in feature at the moment so the the link here that we clicked earlier or turning this on at some point in the future that's going to get switched around so this will be an opt out feature and you'll have to make the settings to switch back to the classic editor and at some point in the future i don't know when but i'd assume that the, the both are just going to be unsupported the classic backend editor so that's what happens um if you update, make sure to back up your sites first, just in case. I use Updraft, it works really well and it's free. Um, so yeah, give it a go and see if you like it.